Hello everyone, what's good? Happy Monday. Um, I'm in an amazing mood today. I've had an excellent 24 hours and I'm shooting this in my room not only because the lighting is amazing but because I forgot to make this video earlier in the day and I do not want to make excuses for myself. So this is Trini Jackson, the world's very first trend millionaire. I'm happy you're here. If you like what you're hearing, what you're seeing, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what your thoughts are um, on today's topic. So I'm going to be talking about why I decided to start therapy and just what it's been like um, because a lot of people have been asking me um, how do you get into it what are you doing there like what are you doing there and I just feel like the questions are like really funny because that's what I was thinking at first so I'm just going to be that person to break the ice so we can all be on the same page okay so let's just address the elephant in the room I'm not crazy okay I'm not crazy and I feel like even me saying that kind of just goes to the stigma that people only go to therapy when they're mentally, you know, unstable. And they're one of the reasons I was so open to the concept of therapy is because I do believe that my mind is my best asset. You feel me? So anything I can do to take care of it is essential. You go to the dentist to check on your teeth. You go to the doctor to check on your body. You even go to the nail salon to get your nose, your <laughs> nose your nails and toes done, but you don't do anything to check on your mind. And I do a lot of personal development. I journal consistently and I read, I meditate, I say my affirmations, I believe in myself. So I have a very positive mindset. However, the way I look at it, whenever you're on the inside, it's hard to realize that there are any problems. You know, it's easy, okay, boom, we're on a big boat and we know the boat is sinking maybe, I'm trying to put this in a way like you know the boat's sinking and maybe we can't see because we're on the boat like what's going on but if somebody else from the outside is looking at it, it's like oh there's a hole right there there's water coming out at that, that laser speed like there's a hole right there oh that's obviously the problem so sometimes i feel like it's easier to realize the things that you're doing that may be holding you back if you get another perspective on it um so i was really in as i said my mind is my best asset therapy is really an investment into my mental health i already read i already journal i do a lot of things for my mental health and i feel like this is going to take us to the next level in terms of caring for myself um personally on a different level so initially someone just put me on like i have a friend um who i never really thought would ever be talking about therapy and they were just always telling me about the benefits and how they started looking forward to it every week and like you know you should go i think you would love it um so i'll go hey look What's the worst that can happen? Turns out most therapists are covered in your insurance. If you don't have insurance, I don't know what to say. But if you do, I pay $25 per visit. Per visit. It's $100 a month for my mental well-being. Very small price to pay because other people aren't going to make that investment. At the end of the day, I'm choosing to invest in myself because i know that i'm worth the investment and you are too one thing i love about therapy is it gives me the opportunity to just talk i love talking to myself in my journal but i feel like i'm the friend that like people will talk to they you know they just unload everything i'm very receptive i'm a great listener i'm always attentive and things like that and i try to help people as best i can um, but sometimes, you know how it be when you're telling your friend something or they're telling you something and then, you know, you try to jump in and be like, yeah, you know, I got this going on too. And they're like, yeah, that sucks. But back to me, da, 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 and it's kind of like, you don't really, um, have the time to express how you feel about certain things. And honestly, that's what therapy is to me. My therapist listens to me. She lets me talk as long as I need to talk. She does not cut me off. She waits for me to pause, to give her space. And then she replies to things that I'm saying. She takes in the things that I'm saying and takes note of it. So to give you an idea of what a typical session does, like, you know, is, and I do mine virtually in the comfort of my own home, in the comfort of my own crib. I'm probably going to do it in this chair tomorrow because I have therapy tomorrow. In the comfort of my own home, I'm able to talk with her, um, express myself, ask questions, and just get opinions on things that are going on in my life, um, good or bad. So you don't have to drive anywhere if you don't want to. Zoom, everything's on Zoom now. So we get on the session. Of course, 
she's you know asked how i've been what's been going on we're catching up and things we did last session um and she gave me things to do she told me things i should be working on or asking me how did this go how did this go so we do the catch up and then after that it's really just me unloading i'm talking i'm talking and i love to talk and what i love is that she, as i said she won't cut me off she's gonna listen wholeheartedly and just really focus and she's so attentive that if i say something that seems important she'll write it down and she just waits she waits until i'm done talking she may write a couple things down and then as soon as i'm i'm done you know expressing whatever i just expressed then she comes back to this point she's like okay she's gonna do something like so you said, da, 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 you know, what did, what, so, uh, you know, talk, tell me more about that, you know? And I'm like, oh, well, that's how I ended up crying on my first session. First session, okay? I'm talking, I'm telling, I'm, da, 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 I'm spewing all this information, da, 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 telling about myself, you know, what's going on in my life, how I'm feeling, da, da, da. And she waits and she asks me just one perfectly timed question. And as I'm answering it, I'm choking up. My throat is getting a little a little tight and I'm like, oh wow, my eyes are watering and my nose is running. All of a sudden, I'm crying. Wow, uh, I'm full on crying. Wow, in front of my therapist. Wow, day one. Oh my God, look at me, how embarrassing. I didn't really care though because she makes it feel like such a safe space. It's really a safe space. She lets you know off rip. Nothing shared there will be, you know, she's not going to, like, she's not going to tell anybody. It doesn't matter if you and your parents are the same therapist. It's really a judgment-free zone. Everything is just so... It gives you like accepting energy. So I actually look forward to therapy. I'm excited for therapy tomorrow. Um, another big reason I did it is because I want to encourage my family to go to therapy. After I started going, I got both my mom and my dad to commit to a session with the therapist. Um, my mom has her first one this week because I understand that they need to invest in their mental health as well. My siblings need to invest in their mental health as well. I understand it's important. So sometimes you just gotta lead the way. So now I'm going, I'm going around. I'm talking about, yeah, I went to, I got therapy today. It's like a flex to me. To me, it's a flex. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> got therapy today. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> got therapy today. Ooh, what time is it? Ooh, no, sorry, I'm being therapy. It's a like I don't know like as I'm in it, it feels it feels very much. It feels like a flex. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I feel like there's such a negative connotation with the word and the concept and the practice that steers so many people away and they're only hurting themselves because it can truly be one of the best experiences. So um, I've loved therapy. I've only gone like three times, honestly, and it's already been amazing. I factor in to my week, just once a week at this point, eventually I'm gonna do once every two weeks. And it's just, I literally save things up, write them in my journal, and I literally will journal to myself. And I'll sometimes say something like, I want my therapist to think about this. I want my therapist to think about this. And then I can bring it to her, I can talk to her about it. And I can just, you know, just it's just amazing. I would recommend it to any and everybody. You do not have to be on the brink of a mental breakdown. The goal is like the same reason you get your car to get a tune up. I don't need to pop a tire to know that it's important to change your tires regularly, to get them rotated, to get the oil changed. I'm not gonna wait till my car is dead on the side of the road. Be like, oh, well, let's go to the mechanic. I can go get the oil changed. I'll get the tires. You know, just about, just a checkup, just maintenance. Do maintenance on your mind regularly, and I promise you, you will love it and not regret it. So if you have any questions specifically, um, that's all I can really think of. I just want to give you all honest, like no script. I'm just literally just ex expressing how I feel about therapy. Um, so if you do have any other additional questions, just drop them in the comments and let me know or DM me on Instagram at trend.illionaire and I will reply and give you my honest opinion um, and try to help in any way I can. But I really hope that whoever is watching this you should be going to therapy. Mwah! Bye. Talk to y'all soon.